Good afternoon, everybody. This is Matt with Snooze at Home, and today's nasal snuff is Toke Blueberry. This is one that I haven't had in a very, very long time, and this is almost very near and dear to my heart, because the first real nasal snuff, I had picked up a couple, like, very old nasal snuffs from the local tobacconist before what I'm about to describe, but Blueberry Menthol by Toke was the first uh, true manufactured nasal snuff that I had ever ordered, so... Being the first one that I had ever ordered, this stuff is very near and dear to my heart. This is, of course, the unmentholated variety, and I think I already know what to expect from it. As you can see, most toke tins pretty much look the same. They're a screw, cap, steel, can. These do a very good job of keeping the snuff fresh. The packaging is modern. I personally think it looks kind of undistinguished but it does look refined this is going to be very very much what we expect from toke just a medium fine grind very fluffy this one is sort of a lighter cocoa brown kind of green actually in real life on the viewfinder i think it's coming through pretty well as you know the first thing we do is have a sniff of it right out of the tin Candy blueberry flavor, a very faint one, not a particularly strong one, but it is noticeable. And behind it is Toke's sweet potato slash vaguely bready slash vaguely buttery base. I got a comment on one of my videos saying that while they're a fan of Toke snuff, they don't really like how everything is sort of samey. And that's very true for... A lot of Toke's regular line. Toke does have a couple of other types of snuff. I think I have one near me that kind of buck the trend. So I have the auto line. I do know that they also have their signature line. And that they do a couple of other one-offs. So I'm kind of glad that Toke has moved away from this because diversity in this kind of thing is really, really pleasant. There's not a lot to say about the aroma out of the can. Before we take our first sniff, I just want to remind you that I am selling some 3D printed tap boxes for those of you who prefer tap boxes to store your snuff in. These are made by me, and these are made purely as a way to fund the channel. Ooh, this one's a little tight. Essentially, these are just a more robust, more permanent tap box that you can store nasal snuff in. The objective of the channel is not just to talk about tobacco, but also to teach you how to make your own. And if you need a place to store your nasal snuff, I can't think of anything nicer than one of these. I use them, and I make them myself. I have it in this beautiful blueberry color scheme, and you can find links in the description below. No pressure, though. Let's have our first sniff and see what this is like. By the way, I have a, not a new camera, this is a camera that I've had for years, but I am finally tired of sort of doing my videos on the phone, so I got a, it wasn't that expensive, it was a $30 microphone that I'm recording this on. The audios in my videos have been really, con like, inconsistent, so I think this should fix that once and for all. Of course, tell me what you think in the comments below. Cheers. Ooh. I smell dish soap. Ah. <sighs> And candy blueberry, and a little bit, ooh. This is what I remember. And it's strange that this is what I remember, because this is not the one that I had had first. There is something, this might be mentholated, I don't know if it is. It's a really weird flavor. It's not really like candy blueberry like you would expect. There is something very similar to a lot of raspberry scented snuffs that I've had where you get a lot of the aroma of the the leaf, sort of the greener aspects of raspberry or berry bushes. If you do any kind of gardening, you know what I mean. Different plants will have smells idiosyncratic to the plant itself rather than the fruit. Tomatoes are a really obvious one, where tomatoes are, of course, beloved by everybody. But the tomato plant itself also has a fantastic smell. I mean, the, the whole plant is covered in trichromes. I'll put a picture up of tomato trichromes here. 
it almost looks like hemp in a way. It's really, really incredible. Getting kind of off topic. This is good stuff. Nice pinch. But let's dig a little deeper. Cheers again. Okie dokie. There is dish soap. <sighs> Something like Dawn dish soap on the very front of it. There's very little tobacco smell besides, like, a drier tobacco smell, kind of like cardboard. It's not a particularly exciting one. But thankfully, it's kind of, it's really far in the background. It's just kind of a low note that rides through everything. After the dish soap, you start to get some more of that grassiness. I don't really get any sort of artificial blueberry here. If I had to comment on this smelling like anything in the nose, this it's very similar to like uh, the German raspberry scented snuffs. And Toke's raspberry as well. There's just this really strong like leafy brightness to it it's really close to if you had spearmint and you just sucked out all of the minty flavor and you were left with the grassier juicier notes of spearmint this isn't a bad snuff by any estimation but it is not really blueberry you could label this raspberry and a lot of people were like they really wouldn't know the difference here Really weird, strong dish soap at the beginning. <sighs> yeah, I don't know that this one is too complicated. Now, I will say, dish soap doesn't smell bad, right? Um, when we're talking about stuff like this, things like flavor and aroma can get conflated really easily. But there are a lot of scents in nasal snuff that you wouldn't dream of eating. They would be they would be awful stuff like geranium or lavender or things like that. But in the nose, they're really, really pleasant. Snuff is about flavor, but it's also about aroma. So when I say dish soap, I don't say that to be shocking. I say that because that's what it smells like. It is a weirder dish soap, but it is a pleasant smell. And it fades into this kind of grassy note, and then the tokish tobacco isn't really here in this one. So if you are a fan of more floral scents, I guess, go after Toke Blueberry. There's nothing exciting to say about the nicotine in this one. It's Toke, so it's going to be of decent strength. The punch on this one really wasn't that overwhelming by, by any degree. Yeah, this is nice. I don't know if I would ever pick one up like this, but if you're interested, feel free to check it out. Thanks so much. I will see you next week. Cheers.